It truly is amazing that now in our smartphones, we have a camera. At any moment, we can capture the world that we live in through photography. Each time that you take a photo, you invite the viewer to the experience of seeing. Through taking photographs of the world around us, we can grow a deeper appreciation of the visual world that we often just pass through unnoticed. The first place we are going to start with our mobile photo images is with light. We are going to work with the adjustments inside of the Adobe Mobile Lightroom app and look at how light is distributed across our images and how we can work with contrast and exposure to create stronger images. I come to my device and I launch Adobe Lightroom. I want to access the photos that I have in my camera. So in the bottom right hand corner, I click on to the camera. I can see all of the images that I've already worked with in Lightroom because they have the little LR in the upper left hand corner. I am going to move on and take a picture and click the image of my dog, Doug. I'm going to zoom in and take a closer look and make sure that my images are nice and clear. I want to access some of the different ways that I can work with this image. So in the upper right, I'm going to click on the adjustments. When I'm working with the adjustments, I can access the distribution of light, of color, I can access different effects, detail, optics, and geometry. I'm going to focus in on light. When I click on light, we are working with the distribution of light across this image. In particular, we're focusing in on value, highlights, shadows, middle values. If I'd like to for this image, I can just click auto. Just by clicking auto, Lightroom will do its best attempt to fix the image or to improve the image. And I'm going to go in and work with it on my own. Let's begin with exposure. Exposure is the amount of light which reaches our image, which reaches our camera sensor for this image. Now, when we think about the exposure, every image is going to be a little bit different depending upon the light that is in the image. So I can take the exposure, I can drag it to the right. I can see I'm lightening my image. I can drag it to the left to darken. I don't want to darken. I want to try to pull out more information on this little dog. Maybe I want to up the contrast. Again, I can drag. I also can just click to, to create little increments. Maybe I want to up the highlights too. Again, I could just click, click, and through just a tap, the image will begin to change. Maybe I want to darken my shadows a little bit. I can look at the distribution of whites across this image, and I can also work with the distribution of blacks. Again, each image is going to be a little bit different. My goal as I work with light is to get more information and more clarity on the images that we're working with. So in particular, when I zoom in and look at my dog's mouth, I can see that I'm pulling out more information. I'm gonna look at my before and after. To look at before, I can just click down and hold, and I can see that it was pretty dark and then I'll release and I can see that I've lightened it and overall the image looks better. Let's do a before again. I can click down and hold. There it is before. Here it is after. A lot more good information. When my image is all done, I can click done. This image is now been edited through Adobe Lightroom.